Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got a pretty special video. We have a 3D pen. I'm not sure exactly what this does, but apparently you can build stuff with it. So I guess essentially this is kind of like a 3D printer that's in your hands. All right guys, let's see what this 3D pen is all about. So I'm gonna open this box here and this is what we're greeted with. Looks like a pretty long manual here. And here is the pen itself. Let's see if we can pop it out. And it's not very heavy. So it looks like we have a little LCD screen here of some sort. Then we have a couple buttons here. I guess this is where the stuff comes out. And then we have a couple more buttons on this side. And there's two buttons on top too. So there's quite a bit of buttons to push. And here in the back it looks like this is where you plug it in for power and this is where you feed the filament in. All right, so let's see what else is in this package. So we do have uh, some kind of quality control pass. It's like we have a couple little thumb thingamajiggers or finger. You put them on your finger so you don't burn yourself. I get a larger one and a smaller one. And I'm sure there's something in here also. Let's see what's in here. All right, and there it is, the filament. And it looks like the USB cable. All right, so that's everything. So we have blue and yellow. And here is our power. All right, guys, so I got the power connected to the USB. Let's go ahead and plug it into the pen. All right, so I plugged it in. And it looks like it's showing me something here. It says PCL or PLA or ABS. Okay, so this is the filament type, I guess. I am not sure what this is. We need to find out what that is, I guess. All right, guys, so I'm not sure exactly what filament that is. Doesn't can't really find it says anywhere. But anyways, on the instructions here, it says to click the load button. So this is the speed control, and then this is the load and unload. So I guess if we push this, it should start preheating. Oh, there it goes. It's going up and up. So I guess we're going to let it wait till it heats up. And then we're going to see if we can feed this filament through there. Alright guys, so it looks like we hit about 190s and the light turned green. So I went ahead and stuck some of this filament in there. So what you're going to do after that looks like it's going to push this to... You're gonna, I don't know if you guys can hear, but you can hear that it's running. Like it's pushing the stuff through. Yeah, it's sucking up the filament. I don't see anything coming out yet, but I think it's just getting warmed up over there. If I push that again and it pauses it. Also guys, it looks like I can change the temperature. If I pause the pin, I can change it to higher temperature or lower temperature. All right guys, so the pin is warmed up and it's ready to go and it's sucking the filament here in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can use it here on this piece of cardboard here. I'm just gonna draw something. So all we gotta do is push this button to get it going. I got it on the lowest speed. Right here, down all the way is on number one. Not sure if everything is set up right, but it's working. So we can go ahead and start drawing something. There it goes. Took it a little, a second to get going. Okay, I'm not a very good user of this pen. Plus I'm holding the camera. So we got a J. And you guys know where this is headed. So I'm on the lowest speed, guys, so if I speed this up, it'll be a lot faster. But it seems like even at this lowest speed, it seems fast enough, technically, especially if you're first using it. And there we go, guys. I just wrote my channel name into here, and that's pretty cool. So here's some of the mess we made over here, and it's already all hard. And here is the name. Actually, if I would have connected this, I could have peeled it off and it would have been one piece. So, Anyways, guys, you can see how creative you can be with this pen. And it looks like this would be really fun for, like, kids and stuff to play with, you know, to build things. And maybe even, like, build stuff on top of their stuff. Or you can even glue things, maybe. All right, guys, so Marcus is going to give it a shot. Um, well, Marcus, are you excited about this pen? Yes. I know you're going to be the one using this probably all the time. All right, go ahead. See, what are you going to build, by the way? I don't know. You don't know? All right, just play with it. This is his first time using it. So he's never used it. I think you got to wait a little, dude. It's still not coming out. There it goes. Now it's coming out. So, yeah, this is definitely fun for kids. 
they can get creative with this stuff. So we're gonna let Marcus build here something or draw something and uh, we'll be back. All right guys, so as you can tell, we are not artists. Marcus just keeps playing with it. And he did draw a little car here of some sort. So it definitely takes some practice and stuff. But drawing definitely is fun, you know? Kind of like I wrote my name here. And if you do it on the right material, it might just stick on there really good, so. All right, so it looks like it's putting itself to sleep. So once you don't use it for a little bit, it says sleep. So I don't know what exactly it's doing, but it's probably cleaning itself out inside. So it seems like a really nice pen overall. Definitely pretty easy to use. I wish the speed on this was a little bit slower because it's kind of going sometimes too fast, but maybe it has to. But other than that, it's nice. You can definitely have some fun with this, and I think this is really nice for the kids just to get their creativity out. So, Anyways, guys, so this is a 3D pen. So we actually do have another 3D pen that we have and that we are going to give away. So stay tuned for that video. We're going to have uh, more prizes to give away as we get closer to Christmas time. So watch out for that. Also, guys, if you want to get a pen like this, I'll leave a link in the description for this one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.